Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here from Los Angeles, live coming to you. Another episode of the vlog, baby. Give this video a thumbs up because you know your boy needs that algae to hit. I just want to share with you guys some shit real quick. So I'm big into like cut off sleeveless shirts when I work out because you know it shows off the guns and shit. So one of the comments that I saw in my more recent videos is can you show us how you cut the sleeves off your shirt? It's pretty actually specific in terms of how you do it because if you do it wrong, it could actually look really whack. So I'm just going to show you guys that real quick. So first things first, I've gone ahead and chose the creme basic Bellwoods tea. These come in a two pack, as you guys know. It also comes with a vintage black colorway. First thing you want to make sure is that your scissors are sharp. If you have shitty scissors, then it's going to come out really whack. So what I'll do is, is I'll always cut it from the back. So I'll go ahead and turn it around and I'll have the neck of the shirt facing me. Now when you're wearing a sleeveless shirt, you don't want to just cut the sleeves off right at the end and have like a tiny little hole. You kind of want to have like a little bit of a dip. Like if you guys watch how mine sit, it has like a little bit of a kind of like a cut, like a loose fit here, but you don't want it to be like a fucking bodybuilder stringer type tee where it's like super open and wide there. Those are whack. I'll probably mark it like right here. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Boom, right there. Probably like a couple inches on each side. You don't want to cut it straight. You kind of want to follow like the arc of the shirt. You want to give it a little bit of space at the armpit here. So we're going to cut along this way. Not too deep, but kind of just lightly follow this arc on the tee. If you have fabric scissors, even better. These, these aren't fabric scissors, but then you kind of want to curve it in at the end. Just like so. Make sure you give it like nice long cuts. If you're doing tiny little cuts, it's going to make it like not straight. Again, turning it in at the end. Not too, too much, but there we go. So you got a perfect amount of space to show the shoulder. Perfect amount of space just to have it open here. And this is how you do a proper cutoff of one of my tees. You guys want to cop yourself some Trinity shit? I've restocked a bunch of stuff on the site, so go ahead and head to the Trinity page and see if there's anything that you guys might like there. Link down below in the description. I'll meet you guys at the gym. Let's go. A little more top end pull. Snap it back. Snap it up top. Good. Okay, overhead squat. Big air in. Up. Oh, perfect. Good. Okay, uh, triple jump. Three, good. Yeah, uh, three more. For all the running that you're doing. Did a bunch of circuits today, but that was just one that I showed you guys, and now we got a little AMRAP, a little finisher at the end, guys. Oh yeah, baby. Yes, sir. The physique is coming along, baby. A little bit of a conceited moment there, but sometimes you gotta admire the hard work, you know? Ended up getting five rounds in four minutes. Five jump squats with the kettlebell, five ball slams, 10 calories on the echo bike. 12 seconds. <laughs> That'll fuck you up. You know, when I'm hitting these like four to six mile runs, or any run for that matter, or I'm in a moment where I have to really dig deep, like that circuit at the end, one thing I've done that I can just share with you guys that might work for you is picture something that's one of your biggest fears, or something that you've always wanted to overcome, or something that you felt shameful about or something that you're just really working towards, a goal. Just literally picture it in your head. Picture you standing right in front of it at the gates. Imagine that thing standing there right in front of you saying, do you want it, do you want it, do you want it? For me, that's what gets me in that mode. So give it a shot next time. Hey buddy. It's okay. I'm here buddy. Got a lesson with my coach Dave here at Angeles. He's been the one that's been responsible for the improvements in my swing. I'm gonna introduce you guys to Dave and kind of just show you guys what a lesson is like. This is my boy Dave. What up? We're gonna work some of the shorter clubs today. So you're overloading the wrist on the way down, okay. which is causing you to come down steep like oh, that. So we need it to be just about a 90 or less there. Yep, very good. 
really huge on just taking lessons in general. I love learning new things and then grinding it out and just seeing results. Like I'm addicted to that feeling. So that's why I really like taking lessons. Same thing with why I work with a personal trainer for boxing as well as my strength and conditioning. So I'm really, really big on all that stuff, but. Holy fuck, bro. Nobody has hair dyed like this, bro. I'm telling you, my nonna, bro. She told me my hair is the most dyed that anyone she ever seen, even including her family over in Italy, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You guys remember that crazy fire ass recipe that I showed you guys in my last vid? The one with the rice and arugula and steak and blah, 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 blah. So we're gonna be giving a little taste tester with that, guys. Just so you know, I'm not boosting. I'm not like, you know, capping about how good this shit tastes. So next time, when you're thinking about maybe cooking for someone, one or some special type of lady or a ladies if you're cooking for your man and you want to impress use this recipe bro this is the ribeye from greater Omaha mm. wow that smells incredible oh yeah I can tell these steaks are not fucking around bro. a little strip loin here this is actually gonna be a perfect marinade for the type of steak that we're gonna need for today's dish I also picked up this Wild squid. The key with this dish is that you gotta mix it all up. You gotta eat it like all as one thing, you know? Come on, Dory. Come on, Dory. Come on, Dory. Come on, Dory. All right, guys. So, I gotta be quite honest with you. Last couple days, bro, horrible. Felt like fucking shit. I don't know why. I'm sure some people can relate to this. Sometimes you'll just, we're like, you're just going through days and you're like, yo, like, I just don't feel good like I don't know and you can't pinpoint it everything seems to be fine maybe miss some of the homies and shit a little bit but like other than that like life goes on like nothing significant has changed but for some reason I just don't I don't feel that like wave of like feeling fucking happy and getting out of bed and crushing the day sometimes it just happens throughout that entire time though I was just like all right just stay with it if you're just going through some shit right now and you're just dealing with some bullshit in your life and you're just like, fuck, I'm unhappy about this or that or I'm just not feeling that great today or this past week or a little bit and I couldn't even tell you why. Bro, trust me, I'm there with you. We all been there. The main thing is keep your head up. Gotta fucking just dial in the routine. Cook for yourself. Nurture yourself. Train hard. Don't procrastinate. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Shit, shit, bruh. Always one liter before the morning coffee. This is the worst part about every run. It's literally just gathering myself together to go and get out there. Such a love-hate relationship with running. First mile, always the toughest. Believe it or not. This is where we pull away when it gets hard. We got another hill. The ones that stuck with you the first time, they ain't gonna stick with you the second time. Just relax. Relax and dig. We've been here before. Let's go. Then when we get to the top, we don't stop. We trust our recovery. Trust your body's recovery. Don't worry.
This guy, I'm dead. Almost threw up three fucking times. How was but it? I need it, bro. Next What's saying, up? right? I need that. I'm in there with the dogs. A little bit of liver. God is good, man. God is good. A little bit of lamb. The Canadian carny did it up. You gotta me. do it the carny That's way. Fun, like right after. Cheers, dude. <laughs> Interesting. It does taste like a steak, but but like and not in a good way. No. My dad will sit and eat the whole thing like this and just enjoy it. It's fucking gross, bro. He's enjoying it? Yeah. Holy jeez, your boy looking fresh with it right now. Not even trying to front or flex right now. This is just really what it was. This is how we live. This is how we look. Oh my goodness. I'm about to go pull up to a Trinity shoot right now. We're shooting these new boxing hoodies. I'm telling you guys right now, I need you guys to go. When I post this shit, I need you guys to go absolutely crazy in the fucking comment section because these are just so fucking all right, guys, show them the details. Full hand stitching here. Everything hand stitched. I showed you guys these pants that my mom made. Check out the patch on the back. Full hand stitching on everything, guys. The hood, even check out the graphic on the back. Each one is done one by one by hand. So every one is gonna be slightly different in terms of the color. Like some might be a little bit lighter in some areas, some might be a little bit darker. So that's what's really cool about these pieces is that every single one is pretty much like a one of one. Check it out, all these things, all these details guys are done by hand. As much as I would love to hook up the pricing and have these be super cheap, obviously they're gonna cost a little bit more guys with reason, you know, they are all done basically one by one, all done by hand. So out of any of the pieces or things that I've done, these are like, a real like piece, you know what I'm saying? These aren't like mass produced type shit. You guys see the back graphic? Beauty about these pieces and why I wanted to do them sleeveless is because you could style these guys completely different. You could dress it up like this and do like a dinner going outfit, but you could also do like a gym fit, casual fit. I'll show you guys. I'm styling this one a little bit different. I'm rocking this one uh, sleeveless as you can see. Then I'm just rocking these with some shorts that I got. I picked these up in Tokyo years ago at Dover. Um, and then just some ASICS shoes. So this is a little bit more of like a summer fit, maybe like a daytime lunch type of like pool party type of vibe type fit. We've got the green as well. I call this almost like an army slash military kind of olive green. And make sure when you guys do cop these, I'll obviously say this again, these are a very, like they're a delicate, they can obviously still go through the wash, but don't be just like running them through a regular wash with a bunch of your shit. Like this is a delicate piece of stuff's all stitched by hand, you know? So wash it on delicate or dry clean. We got the cream joggers. There's still probably a few of these left on the site in some of the bigger sizes. I'm gonna be doing like a one big boxing drop. As you guys know, these sold out extremely quick. I'm assuming that the tees are gonna go very quick as well. So make sure you guys are live on the site at the time of the drop. Check it out, we'll show them the details. Also going to be restocking the Japan tees. You guys see the vibes, right? These are the capital pants that I picked up while I was in Tokyo. Also picked up these ASICs while I was there too. I was wearing both an L in the Tyson tee as well I'm wearing an L here. But I can also wear an XL. Like if I want it to be like super baggy and wide, you can size up, but like also you guys can see I'm wearing large so you can go true to size as well. Friday, June 30th, 12 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't make too many of these. So limited quantity available. Guys, you gotta be on the site live at 12 p.m. Eastern time if you guys wanna cop. This drop is about to go crazy, you guys. I feel like this is like the craziest drop I've ever put together. So you guys see the details. Details over here. All hand stitched, guys. Each piece is a one of one, all right? We're leveling up this year, you guys see it. Okay, 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 okay. What it do, what it do, what it does. That was literally my best shot of the hour. 